Hi, my name is Carlin Miranda from CareerShifts.it.com and I have a 12 years of experience in software testing. Today we're going to share the top 7 uh, IT careers that doesn't require any coding or um, any uh, age, age limit. Number 1. Uh, software testers. Software testers are part of the software development team that handles and that handles auditing and checking the software. They are, their, their main jobs is to find bugs and to make sure that the, the software or the application is, is working as expected. They, they, they have a very keen, uh, keen eye for detail and their main skills is to find any variances in the expected um, expected uh, functionality of a certain software so you don't have to have any IT background in order to start this kind of career and uh, what you need is to understand the business requirements a very keen eye for details and and they use some tools uh, in order to capture the, the bugs or the issues of the certain software UI and UX designers. Uh, UX meaning uh, user user experience designers, and UI meaning uh, for UI uh, user interface designers. For the UX designers, for the user experience designers, uh, these these are uh, individuals who are responsible for profiling certain problems of a certain company or product. They are responsible for capturing and testing out different process so that the user of the application would feel very seamless or in order for the user to have um, a seamless experience when they're using the product. So the user experience guys uh, will handle and uh, group together a certain process for, for this to be, to be achieved. And for the UI designers, uh, which is the user interface designers, are responsible for in interpreting the the output of the UX designers, meaning they will they will provide you some uh, software assets and software designs in order to translate the process into a visual uh, a visual uh, sample of the product. So, meaning, for example, if there's a certain process, they will build a certain design so that they will be uh, they will provide you some uh, prototype for, for the users and the, the project. Number three, the project managers. Yes, uh, we do need the project managers for the, for the software development team. They handle the, the problems, the planning, and also diagnose the, the, the overall performance of the project and, uh, and the product and its delivery. So the project manager handles uh, the, the reports and solves any blockers for, for the developers and the designers and testers as well. Number four, data visualization or data analyst. These guys are responsible for collecting data in a way that, and present them in a way that they are um, easily absorbed by common users. Usually they provide a narrative of this report visually and through uh, data tables in order for project managers to have a basis uh, for their business decisions. So you don't require any kind of coding but you, you need to have a very great uh, understanding of the numbers, uh, comparisons and some variances, any fluctuation in the trends in order for you to become a, a data analyst. Number five, digital marketers don't require any kind of coding, coding experience or skills, but they do require uh, certain tools to, uh, to, to test their marketing goals. So they are the marketing uh, arm of the IT industry. They, they uh, define uh, the business goal or 
they use the business specification of the software and they will translate this strengths of the software into marketing uh, strategies and goals so they provide some a b testing of these marketing strategies in order to drive users or to drive uh, traffic for the website this way they will gather data uh, for them to improve the marketing strategies uh, in order to drive income in order to drive goals like uh, signups email signups and users or game installation for ios and android apps and then <clears throat> they will also provide some tweaks along the way in order to drive sales for the for the for the website or the uh, native apps Number six, uh, number six is the uh, SEO or SEO specialist, or otherwise known as uh, the growth hackers. So the, these guys doesn't also require any any kind of coding uh, skills, but uh, they do need to have a, a skill for blogging and recognizing keywords. So their, their main job is to drive um, uh, the, the friendliness of the app and the friendliness of the website by using keywords that are very friendly for uh, search engines like Google and Bing. Their main responsibility is to make the website uh, and the app uh, very useful and very um, easy to use and very helpful for the end users. So in this way, they uh, highlight the strengths and highlight uh, the how-tos for the website or the product, in order to drive, um, in order to drive more users and traffic for, for the for the for the website or the product, and also they uh, realign uh, certain um, content uh, in order for them to drive traffic. For example, videos, and also uh, content uh, media. For example, like uh, uh, storytelling. Number seven, tech support. Tech support doesn't require any coding skills, but they do need to have an understanding of the product or the website. So they help out the end users uh, by providing seamless experience and troubleshoot uh, basic issues when they integrate the product or the or the website using the the customer's um, devices, for example, their Macs or laptops, and different kind of uh, operating system. So they, they provide some troubleshooting techniques and they have a collection of data to uh, troubleshoot uh, any unique and common problems for the website or the product software in, in order for the customer to have a very seamless experience. So you don't need any kind of coding language in order for you to, be, to succeed in this kind of, um, in this kind of job. And then lastly, the bonus, uh, the bonus uh, career that you could have in IT career without any coding skills is to be an IT recruiter. So an IT recruiter are very specialized kind of uh, recruiters. So they do need to have an understanding of the basic um, roles and responsibilities of the IT guys in order for them to um, find the right candidate uh, to, to be placed in a certain group so uh, you don't need to have any coding skills but you need to have a sense of uh, understanding of the basic roles of the IT career jobs so that's it um, seven seven IT careers that doesn't require any coding <laughs>